Hello, my cancer family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for you, Cancer, for July 6th through the 12th. Thank you for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now, just a reminder, these are general readings. For personalized reading, click on my website link below. And in case you're wondering, yes, I got a little aggressive moving my candle around and it splashed up. So this is just wax that I am now going to have to try to get out of my precious amethyst there. So anyway, let's get started and see what your cards are indicating this week. Starting with your first card, Cancer, you have the Major Arcana card, The Hanged Man. Okay, Cancer. So you're starting out this week with the hanged man, which is an indication that you need to look at something with a new perspective. You need to pull back and see everything that is in front of you. Now, last week, you ended your reading with the Two of Wands, which left you standing at the threshold of being able to choose your destiny, Cancer. And you had more than one option. And you had the Page of Pentacles presenting a possible new opportunity for you, along with the Strength card telling you to have faith in yourself and take a chance, Cancer. So here you are this week with the Hanged Man, which is indicating a need for change. You need to look at things differently. You need to see all the options that your Two of Wands card you had last week you need to see all those options. And what the hangman card is really indicating is to just take your time and observe your environment, your situation, where you are and where you wanna go. Review what has taken place in your past. Notice that there might be possible blessings coming out of the hardship that you might've endured. Now, for some cancers, some type of sacrifice may now be required in order for you to move forward. And they can possibly be letting something go. Maybe you don't want to go back to the old job you had. Find something new. Possibly don't stay with someone who's not making you happy or has a negative outlook on what's going on in the world today. So some kind of sacrifice maybe even moving to a new place. And of course, the Hanged Man card is also an indication to get in touch with your spiritual side, Cancer. The number 12 of the Hanged Man card reduces down to number three. And that's indicating something is coming together to create something new for you, Cancer. It's new beginnings for you. But... This card is indicating that you need to step back and look at things differently. You might be missing some alternative options that you have right in front of you. Now your next card is the King of Wands. And you're not the only star sign to get this card. This king's been showing up in a lot of readings. This is Leo's card, and it is a card of getting things done. So possibly with this King of Wands showing up for you, Cancer, a Leo individual will be the person that helps you to get going on what you want to do. And that could be a new job, a new position, moving house, following your passion, maybe starting a business and a website. The King of Wands showing up is a very positive influence to make things happen. And he's been showing up in the readings to be that person that recognizes your talent, Cancer, and then puts you in a position, possibly one of leadership, so you can utilize your talents and move forward. So possibly some of you might have the opportunity to be put in charge of something, whether it be something in the workplace it could be something you enjoy doing with an association or organization, 
something where you're going to lead the project or group. So make sure you keep your eye out for the King of Wands. This is usually somebody that's a leader of a company, a CEO or president, someone who's in charge of the entire group or organization. And this is the person that's going to help you this week, Cancer. Be looking for a Leo, but it could also be one of the other fire signs as well, Sagittarius or Aries. But I would place my bet on a Leo individual. Now looking at your next card, Cancer, the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is a wonderful card and follows suit with how your reading was last week and then this week. This is where you end up with the Nine of Pentacles, which is getting the rewards and assistance for all your hard work that you put in. And now you're getting the fruits of your labor. This is a card of being self-sufficient, self-reliant, standing in your own power, success. This is indicating that you've had the self-discipline in the past, Cancer, to get to this point. This is really a card of having taken charge of your own future. And this is indicating how much you've already accomplished. So take some time out and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Now, the number nine energy of this card signifies completion and pretty much in the material sense. So what you were working towards all last week, the page of pentacles with some kind of money coming in, having the faith in yourself with the strength card to go forward with the project, the job, your passion, and then you're standing at the threshold with your two of wands card, being able to choose your own destiny cancer. And here you are this week where you're getting the fruits of your labor. Your hard work is paying off, in other words. Now, the three-card spread adds up to number 22. Now, first, let's look at that number 22 because it is a master number. It's called the master builder or the master architect because it holds so much power that can turn Big dreams into reality if you work at it with discipline. And this is what you've done, Cancer. Your numerology is telling you this week that by going forward with your plans this week, that you will be so successful and then reap the benefits of all your hard work put in. Now, the master number 11 is more spiritual. We hear more about that number. But the master number 22 is more realistic. It's more practical. That's why it's called the master builder. So you have this energy as your numerology this week. You have the major arcana card, the hanged man, telling you to look at things differently. There are so many alternative paths and ways that you can go. But you need to open up and look at everything around you with a new fresh pair of eyes to be able to see the opportunities that you do have around you. And the King of Wands is an individual that's going to help you to get you where you want to go. This is someone who's very influential that's going to open the door for you to whatever it is you're passionate about. Again, this is a general reading, so everybody's passion is different. Whether it be music or a sport or their job, whatever you're passionate about and enjoy doing. And then the Nine of Pentacles is an indication that you have arrived. Your hard work is now being rewarded. You are now going to be self-reliant, self-sufficient, and standing in your own power. And looking at this card, I was just realizing these are all sunflowers which is a sign of optimism as it is. But the centers are all pentacles. So it doesn't get any better than this. Just optimism and success at the same time. A really cool nine of pentacles card. Now let's take a look at which crystal your angels and guides have selected this week. Moonstone, okay. Now, this one hasn't come up for a while, 
But for you, Cancer, your guides are telling you to pay attention to the moon and its cycles because it does have an effect on you and your moons. So many star signs are very connected to the moon and its energy. So your guides are wanting you to tune in and check and see how do you feel during a full moon? Do you feel energized or do you feel very emotional and tired? Because everyone reacts differently to the moon. So for this week with this crystal moonstone, focus your attention inwards. Try to listen to what your physical body and your intuition are telling you. And possibly what is it that you need to balance everything out? What do you need to do? Possibly you need to focus more on how you relax and sleep. Maybe you need more exercise. Maybe you need to pay attention to the foods you eat. Now, the moonstone is associated with your crown chakra, and that is on the top of your head. That is how you connect with the divine. So moonstone is an excellent crystal to use in meditation and to connect with your intuition. Your angels and guides are suggesting this crystal this week to help you tune into your higher self. And with the hanged man card, and then give you the guidance to connect up with your king of wands for the final result, the nine of pentacles. Now I leave you with the message of the cards, Cancer, but it is all within your own hands. You decide your own destiny, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Love and abundance to my cancer family.